In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Entra ID uh, application that you're going to delegate permissions to, which ultimately I'm going to use uh, for Power BI reports. Let's get started. We're going to start by going to Entra ID. And then from Entra ID, we're going to go off to um, application registrations. All right, this is where we're going to register a new application. And we're going to give this one a name. And because this ultimately is going to be used with Power BI and Graph, I'm going to call this Power BI with Graph. And then what's unclear about it is uh, from the official docs is what you should do next. And the answer really is do nothing. You leave it exactly as is and you go register. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna copy this app ID and we're gonna bring it into Notepad. Of course, that opens up on another screen um, which is fine, app ID. Because we're going to, I'm going to want this for a future project, so I need to save that um, elsewhere. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is go down to um, app permissions. So by default, you can see that it's got um, uh, read users and it's delegated we're going to go add permissions so we're going to say graph and we're going to say application permissions on here we're going to go device and why i want to go to device is um i'm trying to pick up the intune uh permissions for, for device management so for now we're literally going to just go read you know, there's no point in this application having write, you know, doing the whole uh, concept of lease provision, at uh, least permissions possible. We're going to uh, pick up this one and we're going to add the permissions. Now, this is a great uh, uh, segue uh, because notice that it says not granted for this tenant ID. Um, and what you do want to do is have this thing granted. Um, so up here, it's a little not, it's not always obvious, but if you click on this grant um, consent for this, it will prompt you. You say yes. And now we've got the permission. So you want the, the whole status to be green across the board. Um, I should have added one more because I was going to add the Intune one. There we go. And again, it's applications. And we're going to say just get uh, warehouse data. We'll go OK. And again, I'm going to grant permissions for the whole thing. So we've uh, created the application. We've granted the permissions on that. Our next thing is, is to go off and do the um, secrets. So we're going to be on the client secrets. We're going to say new client secret. Uh, we're going to say Power BI with Graph. And spell Graph correctly. Now you got your choice of how long you're going to um, keep that secret for you can go up to uh, 24 months. So let's actually do 24 months. And we go add. So with that, it is now um, given us our secret and our value. So I'm going to copy the value. And I'm putting that on a different screen, of course. And then... I'm going to go secret ID and I'm going to paste that into notepad as well. 
Now, when you watch this video, what you're going to find is, is that I've uh, blurred out these, these two pieces of information um, just because I don't want you to have my secret ID or values. But you, when you do this yourself, you'll... Um, you'll see your secrets and IDs and you want to keep them to to yourself. So technically with that I'm done. I now can use my uh, app registration for um, for my project that I'm going to do with Power BI and Graph. Now those blogs will be coming out. They will take a while to, to come out. Um, this is technically for a a uh, MMS MOA uh, session that I'm doing, so the blogs will will not come out until after MMS at the earliest. So um, there you go. So with that, I want to thank you. Again, I want to thank you for watching and I want to remind you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. This way you'll get the latest content as it comes out. As I said, there are companion blogs uh, on the Ask Our site. I encourage you to go over there and to subscribe to uh, that newsletter as well. That way you can see when the new content comes out and stay on top of things. Until next time.